What's up? Farmer Joe Parker here. Don't know what you'd expect, right? It's my channel. I'm going on an epic backpacking trip up to Bucane Trail. It's going to be pretty sick, I guess. Pretty pretty fun time. I'm going with a whole group of these, these clowns over here. So they're going to be a little slower, so I'm going to split off and do some side trails. It's going to be a good time. Wild rhododendrons blooming up here right now. Smoking on some jet fuel gelato. So we are uh, like 1.7 miles. These guys are down here doing a pack adjustment, and I'm doing a powwow up here with my peace pipe by myself. Slow going. It's been an hour and five minutes. So we got pack covers going on. And what we're trying to do is tie that pack to his front. Okay. Well, I just ditched the crew because. They're slow and they're never gonna make it up to the bomber. So they're just gonna head to the campsite and I'm gonna head up to the B-17 crash. But first, let's go in this dark cave. Oh, I got a headlight, let me put that on. This is cool in here. That's the end. It looks like some fucking piece of shit decided to come tag it up. Nice. Cool. The roof's dripping. Yep, I'm gonna head up to this bomber. The B-17 up the hill. It's like 1.4 miles from here to get up to the B-17. I'm just gonna let them hike their hike and learn their lesson. So we're gonna go over these guys' packs and let them know. They don't need to be, be carrying axes and machetes and guns. These fucking kids got guns. Any goddamn guns in the woods. I mean, I'm cool with carrying guns, but like we're hiking in a group of people. There's literally nothing that's going to happen. <laughs> but, you know, teach their own hike your own hike, right? So, I'm just not going to tell them what to do in their pack, but I'm going to give them some advice to make their hike go a lot better. Whew. Except for this section, damn. It's like straight uphill right here. <laughs> There it is, B-17 wreckage. Pretty gnarly. If you want to look it up, it's a B-17 crash, Tubal Cane Trail. But yeah, that's a B-17 crash from World War II. Up to the end of this. I've never been up any farther than this, and I know this trail goes a little farther, so I'm gonna keep cruising and see what happens. Oh cool, there's more pieces of the plane here that I haven't seen before. And there's part of a wing or something. I don't know. Alright, so I went all the way up Toll Canyon till I hit snow. Turned around. It wasn't much farther past the uh, B-17, but it is still early mid-June right now, so snow should go away soon and then I can go farther up there and check it out a little bit more but I'm headed back down Toll Canyon Trail to try to get to Tubal Cane Mine Trail 
we're gonna get to a little lake and try to catch up to this group of kids that I'm backpacking with. So I decided before I head back, I should eat some lunch up here at this B-17 wreckage because how often do I get a chance to do that? So take a fat dab right quick. <coughs> I love this thing. <coughs> Prepared my meal down the hill, so now I gotta do is eat it. It's some beans and rice with some chicken and some peppers. And take some of these chili cheese Fritos here. Crunch them up in there. <coughs> All right, mix this up a little bit. I can't find my fork again. Dude, I don't even know how often I lose my fork. It's not gone. It's in my bag or in my car, one or the other. But it's never there when I need it. Check this out. If only you could smell it, dude. It's so fire. It probably doesn't look as bomb. Ah, I gotta get you a better view, dude. Gourmet meal. Look at that. Mmm, scurp is beans and rice. It's even fogging up the lens because it's all warm. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm just gonna get down on this. Mm. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this meal. Beans and rice with some additives. I like having the peppers and the chicken. Mm. We're cruising, we're making it. Awesome. Buckhorn Lake, look at that. It's Buckhorn Lake. I'm up here on Buckhorn Lake. Kind of ditched out on my squad. Wanted to make sure we had somewhere to camp up here because we're getting into some snow, so. Looks like we do have a company. There's somebody over there gathering firewood for their fire, it looks like. So I'm going to see if we can find tent sites for everybody. If not, I found some tent sites on the way down here. And I can go back and intercept them so they don't waste their time coming down here for nothing. Onward to the march around Buckhorn Lake. So this fire has been pretty sweet, man. It's keeping us warm. It's really wet out here. I don't know if you can tell. There's not much dry wood, but we found a dead tree we chopped up. It's keeping us warm and dry, but I burnt my fucking shoes, dude. And that's not even the worst of it. Check this out. Crispy trying to... Like someone who has like a drink and then just can't stop. Just can't shut up. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Happy trails, everyone. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. I'm cruising. I split off with the group that I was with because, uh, I mean, they were still asleep. Oh, <laughs> they were still asleep in bed, and I'm trying to get moving, dude. So I'm gonna head up Buckhorn Mountain right now. That's my first goal of the day. Buckhorn Lake. It's a pretty good camp. Not many camps right on the lake, but we had a good camp last night.
Okay, so I'm getting up pretty high in elevation here. And I just found some wild onions. Cool. Check it out. So to the untrained eye, it may just look like some grass, but these are actually onions. When you pick them out, mm, they smell so good. Mm. I'm curious to see if there's any bulbs on them. It's probably not. It's probably just this white stalk. You can cut that up and put it in your soup. It's pretty bomb. It smells so good. Mmm. Uh, yeah, wild onions. Welcome to the Olympics. One of the nice things about hiking up in the snow is you don't have to do all the switchbacks. It's just straight up the mountain, all the way to the top. I don't know if you can see it. You can see the trail. Well, you can't see the trail, but you can see where people have been walking in the snow and it just goes straight up. But if you look at the All Trails map, you need the switchbacks all the way up this thing. It's kind of nice that I don't do them switchbacks. So I got up to the top of that uh, snowy hill and pulled up my map and it's not Buckhorn Mountain. I still got a ways to go. I don't think I'm going to do it because I need to head back and warn the kids because I don't want them to struggle getting up this mountain just to get to that snow hill because they're not going to be able to pass that so i'm going to sit here and have some coffee i made a breakfast skillet it's a uh, hydrating here and i'm gonna have some coffee enjoy this amazing view and then i'm gonna head back down and uh, get to them kids and let them know hey it's impassable up there for y'all but check out check it out check out where i'm at this is where I get to have my breakfast. That is my breakfast view. Cheers, fuckers. Hey, it's not bad. Whoa, service. You know, there's something about eating breakfast on top of a mountain by yourself that brings a kind of peace that you just can't explain to anybody. Nobody will understand it. Nobody will ever want to do it with you. It wouldn't be the same if somebody did do it with you. It's peaceful up here. Pretty awesome. I'm going to slide down right that way. There we go. Woohoo! Holy shit! That was cool. We could probably go a little farther. That was fun. I'm gonna go farther. <laughs> Come out here and do it. Oh, I don't want to hit a rock and fuck myself up though. That would suck. That was cool. <laughs> I actually got butt cheeks in there. You can see my butt cheek tracks. <laughs> that was fun. I'm going to go for it again. Fuck it. Why not, right? YOLO, motherfucker. <sighs> Yeah, 
That was cool. <laughs> cool, so I made it back and warned them. They were stoked. They're gonna start heading down the mountain, but I didn't want to sit around and wait because they're kind of slow. And one of the dudes has a freaking radio listening to like the news and shit. And I don't know, it's not my style. I come out here to be in the woods and get away from all the bullshit, not to bring it with me. So I'm gonna split off and hike my own hike today. Enjoy the woods a little bit. All right, I just made it to the beginning of the trailhead and finished my hike. Hope you guys enjoyed coming along for the adventure. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload more videos. Farmer Joe Parker out, guys. Peace.